continues to file in. We get set to bring you another exciting game. Thanks for joining us here on a great night for football. Each of these teams look ready to get this game started as the Bears. Are ready, so let's get tonight's game going. Number eight is back and Chicago ready to put this one in the air. Football. Number 34, back deep to return. This one is fielded by number 34. He loses it. The Dolphins pick up the fumble. They get it back at. is there on the stop at the 20. I know they didn't get much, but it's all about making the defense respect the fact that you're willing to run. Second and seven coming up here. Chicago comes out in their nickel package, gets the pass off, and he dropped it. I think that was the case of just thinking about what he was going to do with it once he caught it, instead of thinking about catching it. You got to catch it first before you can think about what you're going to do with it once you get it. Third and seven. Ball on the 20 yard line. Watch the man. Back him out. The Bears come out in a dime package. Room to run. The 30. And he ducks out of bounds at the 39 yard line. Looking for something long. Picked off. It's intercepted. The veteran safety is there for the interception. You know, there are three types of safety. Ones who play the run well, ones who play the pass well, and ones that do both well. He's a both kind of player. Hey, watch the screen. Miami comes out in a 4-3. On the call. Fakes the handle. Throws it. Nearly intercepted. Marshall was the intended receiver on that play. Number 21 with the coverage. Second and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Watch out. Right here. Right here. Here we go. Number 22, the lone back. Closing in. Gets it away back. The 50. Number 21 is there for the and tackle the at the 42-yard line. Quick decision-making on that pass for the first down. They knew exactly who they wanted to go to in that situation. He made his read and got rid of it very quickly. If you ask me... He might have one of the quickest releases in the NFL today. When he makes his decision, boom, that ball is out of there. One thing these guys don't want to do is give up in a running game. Because if they do that, they become one-dimensional. And that plays right into the defense's hand. Ball on the 40-yard line. Ball on the 40-yard line. Watch the snap now. Run it over there. Number 22, the long setback. Then the man in motion. On the call, flips the tackle. Wheeler comes up to make the play at the 35-yard line. This is a spot where you want to show the defense that they have to respect the running game. And he picks up about four. Third down play upcoming to convert. They have to get it to the 32. Hey, watch that screen! Number 22 lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Hands it off to the back. Number 59 is there on the stop. At the team's ass what size, and we'll start the second quarter. So two minutes left before halftime. Let's go, let's go. Watch a man. Yeah, you see. The Dolphins with a four-man front. They'll pass on the first down. Keeps it, spins away. Number six, dives forward. They'll touch him down at the 19. You know what this does? It keeps one defense on the field. 
And it doesn't let them get the right personnel in there sometimes. Going to the air on first down. To the end zone. Almost picked off. Dropped in the end zone, so the offense still has possession. And that's the last thing you want as a defender, to have the ball go right through your hands in the end zone. The Dolphins line up at a 4-3. With a counter play, Jump is there for the tackle at the 10. I like the hurry up here. It's a change of pace, and it's a way to get the defense uncomfortable. Going to the first on short yardage. Gets rid of it. Incomplete pass. A little bit long, overthrowing the receiver. That might have had something to do with his follow-through. If you release the pass just a little late, you're going to see underthrows or balls thrown into the ground. If you release it too early, then you'll see an overthrow like that. Number nine. will put them in the lead if he makes this. The try is good. Decent drive, turning their first possession into three points. And you want to get something on your first possession. They were looking for a touchdown, but the defense kind of tightened up. Sends it sailing. This one is handled by number 34. In the last series, they forced a bad pass and got the interception. on the return. The Dolphins will start the drive at the 29-yard line. First and 10. They'll go from the I formation. Keep the throttle down. A little misdirection. Stillman comes up to make the play at the 36-yard line. A tough running game will make your passing attack even more effective. Game of six on the play. The blitz is on. Under pressure. This pass is incomplete. John, he rushed that throw. And you should credit the defensive line. They do a nice job tying up the blockers and can bring pressure up the middle. When you combine their play with the fact that the defensive coordinator likes to bring additional blitzers from the outside, it can make for a very long day for the quarterback. With the pass, and it's complete. Bowman is there on the stop at the 42. What they're doing here is keeping the defense from huddling up. Well, it keeps the same defense on the field. Unleashes the deep ball. That deep pass incomplete. Nothing doing, and it's second down. Receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. They do our thing. They do our thing. Hey, watch the ball. Miller, the long setback. Throws it. Almost intercepted. William had his hands on it. I think he was invisible out there. It wasn't even seen. That's a break for the offense. Third and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Not here. Not now. Chicago looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. Setting up play action. With the pass, he hits his receiver. And he'll take it out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Blitz is coming. Gets the pass off. Goes down and gets it. Donnie Abraham is the man to bring him down. That's his third tackle. Number 17. Completes that for about a six-yard game. Timeout called by the offense. Eighth play of this drive. Ball on the 32-yard line. Tampa! No stop. No stop. That motor. Here we go. Miller is the deep tackle with the carry. And calls a timeout. They have one timeout left. That was just a big time play by the defense. They got low on the defensive line, they pushed the pocket, and they were right there to bring him down. Chicago comes out in their nickel package. Pressure on the run. This one falls incomplete. He appeared to feel the pressure there. So many passing attacks in the NFL rely on timing. When you can put pressure on the passer, you never give him a chance to get into a rhythm. And you force him to throw the ball before he wants to. A field goal here ties this game up. The kick is good up and good. Nice distance. This one is taken by number 14. The last drive stalled, and they settled for a field goal. Now let's see what happens. Ball on their own 20. At the 20-yard line. First and 10. 
The Dolphins come out of the nickel back. Comes up to make the play at the 20 yard line. Trying to find something in the middle. Nothing open. I'll tell you, the guys up front got outworked on that one. They got knocked off the line and they never recovered. The door to the room with the score even. Three. Three. We're ready to begin. Field comes in to kick off. Miami will be kicking off to start the second half. Number 14, back deep to return. And he got all of that one, a great kick. This one is taken by number 14. The Bears will start the drive from the 20-yard line. Two the minutes Bears left in the will quarter. start the drive at the 20-yard line. First and 10. The defense lines up in the nickel. Pass play here on first down. Takes off. Number 96 is there for the tackle at the 24-yard line. Picked up a few yards on the scramble, John. He's one of those guys who's willing to run to make something happen. You have to be aware of that kind of thing on defense. The Dolphins come out on a nickel tackle. Throwing. Keeps his feet moving. Wait is there on the stop at the 25. Bennett, the man in motion. Watch your eyes. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Gets the pass off. It's batted away. I'll tell you, the defense made a great stand right there. 96 on the cover. Now here's the punt unit as the defense forces a three and out. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 38-yard line. Ball on their own 38. Ball on the 38-yard line. You can't stop me. Let's go now. Here's a flag going. The Dolphins line up in a five-receiver set this time, looking for the long completion. He was in the right place at the right time, and that saved them from giving up a lot of yardage. Second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Drops back. Gets the pass off. This one falls incomplete. Got just a little too much air under it. Go for the long pass. See if you can beat him deep. So as they get set to try to convert, here's what both teams have done on third down. Miller, the long back. Launching the pass deep down the right side. Set. Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. And so the punt goes out of bounds. Give this one a try. First and ten. Ball on the 49 yard line. Okay, baby, come on. Let's go. Miami with a four man front. Number 17. Moves in motion. Fires this one out quickly. Complete to the wide receiver. The 40, the 30, the 20. Marshall is there for the tackle at the nine yard line. He brings it in for a big game. Almost every wide receiver gets better at running routes as they get older. And this guy's no exception. So an update now on the injury. It doesn't appear to be anything serious, and his return is probable. On first and goal, they can't get into the end zone. It's second and goal at the seven-yard line. The Dolphins come out in a dime package. Pressure coming. Steps up. He'll run this one. Number 59 is there for the tackle. At the three. Pretty good coverage downfield, so he decided to pack it in, pick up the handful in the process. And that's just the kind of thing he'll do. He's very good at creating opportunities with his life. At the end of the third quarter, it is still not enough. Three. Three.
the Bears. Start the fourth quarter in the red zone as they look to move out ahead. Three yards will get them six points. They hit off. Touchdown, Bears. Now, this is exactly how to get the ball in the end zone. Just get in behind the center and guard and keep pushing and pushing until they're putting up six points in the board. The point after is good. The Bears have moved into position for the victory as they go up by a touchdown with less than two minutes remaining. Yeah, they did everything right. But now they have to play great defense to keep them out of the end zone. This one is handled by number 34. Down by a touchdown, going on offense. I'm running out. It doesn't get a whole heck of a lot better than this. Off to the tailback. Number 99 is there for the tackle at the 23. Miller takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Ball on the 23 yard line. Go make a play. Play it. Drops back. Rolling out to his left with the pass. Midfield. Right is there on the stop at the 41 yard line. Be efficient here. You can't afford to let time slip away from you. Danny, Danny, Danny. Let's go. Set. Cut. Going to the air on first down. Rolls right. Closing in. Knocked away. Second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Let's go. So we're going to take it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Chicago Set. comes out in their nickel package. Rolling right. Yes. Rolling. Oh. Tillman is there for the tackle at the 25. Watch that game clock. You need to keep it stopped as much as possible. Come on. Here we go. Yellow. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. on first down. Floats one into the end zone. Drops the interception. Oh, man, he had it in the end zone, but dropped it. That's the second worst thing that can happen to a defender, to drop one like that. The absolute worst thing is to have your man beat you for six. The Bears come out in a nickel package. Gives the ball off. Under pressure with the throw. This pass is incomplete. No choice here, John. They just have to keep throwing. Yeah, they do. Running the ball isn't going to do a whole lot of good now. Third and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Here we go. Green, 16. Moore goes to work with an empty backfield. Rowan. Number 57 is there for the tackle at the 12. Number 17 with a man in motion. Hand off to the tailback. Touchdown, Dolphins. Touchdown. That touchdown had everything. Good play call, good blocking, and a great run. So we have a challenge. The officials are going to review it. Whenever a questionable call happens in the last two minutes, the review is called from upstairs. John, they're trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. I'll tell you what, unless they're seeing something that we're not seeing, I don't think they're going to overturn this one. The ball did not cross the plane. There was no touchdown. It was unclear initially why they called for a review, but now we understand the reason. Yeah, it's important to get the calls right at this point in the game. Number 17 returns to the game after being shaken up earlier. Here we go. It's slow time, baby. But late in the game, they finally make it inside the 20. Hand it off. I really like the way these guys get after the quarterback. They have a bunch of effort guys out there that have nonstop motor. They push to the inside. They rush. Going to the left. Dillman gets 
gets right in there and brings him down. It's third and goal at the seven. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. Chicago with six defensive backs. Drops back. Rolls right. On the move. Knocked away. Now, who are they going to call the penalty on here? Pass interference on the defense. Number 58, first down. If there hadn't been any interference, it might have... So this could be the last play of the game. Trying to sneak it. Touchdown, Dolphins. You better kick it here. Green stops the clock there. You better kick it here. Carpenter will tie it up here in the fourth quarter by converting this extra point. And it's good. Fields will be kicking off. Number 14, back deep to return. So he can't keep the kick in bounds. Kick off. Penalties and takeaways are just as big a factor in some games as effective offense. The team that stays mistake free usually wins the game. Hey, watch the screen. Here we go. The blitz is on. Pressure steps up into the pocket, looking for the deep pass down the right side. Ooh, nearly picked The team was able to get be decided in overtime. At the end of regulation, the score is tied. Miami is lined up for the kickoff. Number 14, back to return. Good distance. This one is handled by number 14. Sheds the tackle. Hold on, we've got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. 40 on the receiving team. Number 57. A team has to show discipline and execute properly out there. If they don't, they'll find it's much harder to overcome the other team and get a win. Number six will work out of the shotgun. Dark gets to him in a hurry. And he really overpowered the blocker that time. He's a big, big, strong man. Looks like they'll go with a hurry up here. Drops back. Gets the pass off. Thrown behind, but caught. The 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. This one is over. I tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in his play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. Fairly low scoring game with less than a touchdown, separating these two very well coached teams. This game is presented by the authority of the National Football League and EA Sports. The publication rebroadcast or the use of the descriptions and accounts of this game without the expressed written permission of EA Sports is prohibited. This is Al Michael. Tonight, 